Facebook page to join today. Long way to go in this one. As Chauncey had pointed out, Rutgers essentially went two for one. Now the ball back, perhaps maybe twice. Payton defended by Zubats. They doubled Booker, now singly covered by Paul George. They get time to work with for Booker and the Suns. You see they're trying to put Zubats in the action to try to find an advantage somewhere. Rubio walled off, puts up a wild shot, no. And how about Avica Zubats with the rebound, but throws the outlet away, and the Suns have it. Six to play. Booker, this is for the win. Got it! Wow! <laughs> what a shot by Devin Booker right there. Unbelievable play. But again, that's what the great players do. They find a way. The ruling on the floor is made basket. Now that is good for sure. What a shot. Devin Booker today puts the Suns now 3-0 in the bubble. They need help to make the playoffs or that play-in game. But it confirms made back. They are learning a lot in a short while here. Look at the defense me, by Paul George. Still. And let me tell you something. There, there, there's no way that Paul George could have played any better defense than that. First of all, Kawhi cut him off from going to his left. You watch Kawhi come over, stops him. I mean, that, that, that's just a great offensive play. I mean, that was really good defense. I feel bad for Zubats. You know, for getting that offensive rebound and a little bit over zealous trying to get the ball out. But he had a great game, Ivica did. That was just one heck of a play made by Devin Booker. 35 for Booker, 6 threes. The Suns' clock is off. Portland has a timeout. Lillard, a chance to send the Thunder home. Lillard, long range three, and it's good at the buzzer! Damian Lillard, are you kidding me? Westbrook. Oh, he's got a lane. He drives the layups good. Wow. Tie game at 112. Bulls do not have a timeout. Levine, but plenty of time here as he brings it across the eight second line. There we go. By Paul George. Levine hands to Lauer. Marking it, spinning. He's down the lane. Shot on the rim. Oh, oh, the finisher. Lowry marking it. Now, Welcome back, big fella. 114. 12. That was well defended. What a Welcome back, two-point lead. And Kevin, talk about the difference for Brad Stevens now when you don't need a three, how it opens up your whole playbook. Your whole playbook is wide open. Two's win or two's tie and three's win. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my wow. They just oh. let them. When you got, when you can, when you can knock a team off, you got to be able to knock them off. Yeah. Big shot right there. Wow. Still 1.2 left, but and you know what? They wanted the three there. They didn't want to go to overtime because Jason Tatum looked like he had an opportunity to I attack. Thought, I thought Tatum had a lane. Look at that. He decided uh, to throw it back out. Nice pump fake by Morris. He just gets that little steady dribble to get his balance. And I'm talking about nothing but <laughs> bottles. <laughs> Big shot, Marcus. So Jason Tatum there with the assist yes. to Morris for the triple. Kyrie feeling it. Watch out your knee. Be careful on that knee yeah, right exactly. there. Don't be jumping around there, <laughs> young man. All right, now the, the role's kind of reversed now. All of a sudden, OKC in the game that they thought. Here we go. Crunch time. Matt Devlin, Jack Armstrong, take us home. Gabe Arnani and Ross. Here's Rudy. Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay. For the win, Rudy Gay cans it. 1.7 left. 
The Rudy Gay era. Game tied in overtime. Clock down. Give the ball to Rudy and get out of the way. I tell you what, Matt, this is Major League right here. I mean, he stares down. They've been going at it all night tonight, and he's gotten the best of them late. Rudy Gay going against Hill. And Matt, how about the fact that Indiana had a foul to give and they didn't give it? Unbelievable. 17 points for Rudy Gay in the fourth quarter in overtime combined. Against Heber to three. And Boss back comes to Haslam. And now the Heat can run the shot clock all the way down and take the final shot here in the first overtime. And Indiana's over the limit, so they can't foul on this play. It's Wade's turn, middle of the four, guarded by George. One of the best in the league at finishing. Here we go, gang. Wade with four, with three, leans in, and hit. Oh, it looked like he got fouled as well, no call. One tenth of a second on the clock, baby. All they can do, Indiana, is tap it in now. They can't shoot a jump shot. What a play by Dwayne Wade. Off balance, but on target. LeBron James got the team here. D Wade buries the J that can give them the winner. Seven straight points for Miami as they try to extend their home winning streak to 12 in a row. They're on the verge of going berserk here in Miami. And Eric, what you want to do now is you want to put a big guy on the ball, make it a tough pass. Here's D Wade again. It was they contact there. The yeah, there was contact. Good concentration by D Wade. He thought he was on the line, but he buries the shot anyway. And now all that can Eric, there's no offensive or defensive goaltending now. The ball can be thrown into the cylinder of the basket because it's a dead ball. Here we go. Spurs to inbound with Paul Gasol. You got 2.4 to survive for the win. Well, it doesn't give them a lot of time to come back and get a good shot. They've got to get something with one pass. If that. That's just a terrific effort there from Kawhi. This is how you impose yourself on the game. You don't give it up here. No reason to try to give it to anybody else. Go to your strong suit. Go to your move that you've worked on countless times over and over again. Beautiful fadeaway jumper right on the money. Mattie will inbound. West plays the inbound. Mattie gets it in. Here's James on the draw. play defensively by Paul George. What he wanted to do was let LeBron James catch the basketball in front of him. He overplays on the left side, which gives LeBron James one dribble, and you mentioned it, Steve, a chance to get all the way to the basket. And very clearly, this is going to count. Beautiful move from James. Great play drawn up by Eric Spolstra. Now the official word after the video replay is checked out. Miami taking game one. What a tremendous opening game of this Eastern Conference Final. Roy Hibbert cannot believe what he has seen. To see throughout the playoffs. Avery Bradley now gives it to Jeff Green, guarded by West. Here's Garnett. They're looking for Pierce. They have back door to Green. Ah. He scores. Ah, they used it as a screen. Paul Pierce was there, and he screened it, and that's how you were able to get the open shot on the inside. In the lead. Looked like they were going to try to set a screen down, a kind of an elevator situation to get the ball to Kimball Walker. 
Walker. Got a great read by George Hill. And they've got to get it all the way in the backcourt. Eight seconds to play. Walker a screen they, they, from they Seller. They wanted to switch. Here is Walker. Yeah, he wanted to switch. They got it. And what they were able to get was Kimba Walker coming at uh, Jan, uh, Jan Mahimi. They wanted that switch because that's the way the Patriots have been playing it. And Walker has been able to beat that almost every time. So this has been a team, if you look at Charlotte, that first of all, if you don't switch, they had three-point shooters. But he gets this now. See, he, that's who he wants because he knows he can beat Mahimi. Paul George comes over to help. And Kimber just clever enough. See, George right there goes to try to protect the rim. Walker, instead of going to the right hand, goes to the left hand, clears, gets it off the glass, paces with 2.4, and an opportunity to get a victory here at home. 22 points for Kemba Walker. That's eight straight games above 20 points. 4.7 seconds. Gibson's got to get it in. Does. Wiggins drives across midcourt. Andrew lets it fly at the buzzer for the win. Andrew Wiggins backs it in. And the Timberwolves, an unbelievable win here in Oklahoma City.